Good morning everyone and welcome to day 86, well not day 86, workout 86 of the quarantine workout plan. Um, it is Wednesday morning, I'm actually recording this uh, before 9am for you guys. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of excited to be doing the workout again, it feels, it feels like home. Um, it's been, yeah, a week full of lots of different things. Thank you to everybody who got in touch via email. Um, I haven't been able to reply to a lot of them just because I'm being quite busy at the moment in terms of, of jobs, etc. Um, but please know that every single one of them was read and every single one of them was repeated. So thank you if you got touch on, you got in touch on Facebook or email or Instagram, whichever platform you used, um, they were all noted and very much appreciated. Um, and also thank you everyone about, you know, c congratulating me on my, uh, my job as senior lecturer. That was, yeah, very kind of you all. Um, the other thing as well is that Kathy Davis got in touch with me to say that her mum was, t is turning 78 today. Um, so happy birthday to Kathy's mum. She didn't actually leave your name, so apologies I can't make it more personal. But yes, happy 78th birthday. Um, aside from that, the other news is that I've got two completely different tins today because I ate my tin tomatoes um, and I can confirm they weren't like pulp, they were just like normal tomatoes. So it turns out the 12 weeks of a quarantine program cannot beat a tin of tomatoes. <laughs> um, anyway, that's enough from me. Um, again, you know, please continue to get in touch. It really, I, I need to stress how heartwarming it was having all those emails and having all that contact. Um, and I do apologise that I haven't been able to reply to a lot of them. Um, anyway, today's workout, we have obviously our normal uh, warm-up and our cardio warm-up as well. Um, we then just have a nice mix of different exercises um, for the actual main set. A lot of people are doing old workouts in between, which is so nice to hear. Um, so hopefully this is a nice little refresher for you all. Anyway, let's get started. I remembered to start my timer this time. <laughs> So let's begin with our hands on the thighs, sliding down towards the floor. Oh, flexibility not great today. <laughs> Ever thinking last week that I've managed to get away with it, but not this week. Take a deep breath in, breathe out and sink towards the floor. And once more, breathe in, breathe out and sink in towards the floor. And rolling all the way up, down the front of the right leg for me. Sink into it, rolling up and the other leg for me, and again really sink into it. What else is amazing is that I um, every now and then have a look at how many views are on the channel, and even though I've stopped putting up daily, daily videos, the views haven't dropped at all, which really, really blows my mind. <laughs> so thank you to everyone for continuing to watch the videos. And up we come. Okay, spinning one ankle round. And the other way. And the other leg. Obviously yesterday Boris announced some new things in terms of easing the lockdown. So I was talking to my mum and saying that um, Obviously life is going back to normal, but it is a very different normal. Other way for me, a very different normal. Good, okay, feet shoulder width, just wider than shoulder width, spinning round with the hips. And the other way around. And 
Good, and I want knee up and out to the side. We're gonna open up the gates. Yeah, it was very nice, Kathy, getting in touch, saying how much her parents are enjoying the workouts. She's actually a trainee physio, so uh, yeah, maybe she'll be in my lectures. <laughs> Okay, crossing the arms in front of you. Good, and rolling the shoulders back. And rolling them forward. Good, arms forward. And arms back. Good, and last little bit, just with the neck, we're gonna do some nice figures of eight. Do you know, I had a dream last night that someone uh, wouldn't let me do the workout this morning. <laughs> And I had such a panic that everyone would be tuning in at 9am and there wouldn't be a video there. It was quite terrifying. And relax there. Okay, perfect. So we're now going to go into our cardio. We've got some marching, punching up, kicking forward and then heel flicks to finish off with. So let's get started with our marching. Off we go. Marching on the spot. I'm actually going to move into this light patch here. That's a bit better. I also know my grandparents will be watching today's video, so hi grandma and granddad. <laughs> Good, 10 seconds left. And then you're just gonna keep the legs going and you're gonna add a punching up towards the ceiling. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, halfway there. And then you're gonna pop your hands on your hips and we're gonna kick forward in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, hands on your hips, kicking forward alternately. And the last one is our heel kicks to our bums. Obviously you can hold onto the chair for. Good, keep going, just over 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest there, and kicking the bum. Off we go, holding onto the chair if you need to. This is our last one before we go into our main set. I hope everyone is excited for, <laughs> or maybe not. Good, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Ooh, okay, shaking the legs off. So we need to collect our tins for this first one. Uh, let me have a look. Yes, we need two tins for the first one. Um, so I now have moved to soup, which is a little bit concerning. I'm gonna be sloshing around. Um, yeah, our first exercise, we are gonna do our star pullbacks, which we've done many times before. In a chair, what that looks like is you're gonna come down to the feet and come back into a star. If you're doing that standing, you're doing exactly the same, coming down as far as you can and coming back. You can bend the knees or you touch down and come back. Okay, so there are, that's our first exercise. The second one does not need the tins. The second one is really simply our alternating forward lunges. So you're going to take a step forward, drop the back knee down, switch over, step forward. Okay, from the side, what that looks like, forward, 
down, switch, and down. Okay, so there are two exercises. I'm gonna do the first one, sat down. Obviously with the lunges you can do them freestanding or you can do them holding on, whichever um, suits you. Or if you're struggling with that movement of the leg, then feel free just to tap forward alternately. Okay, let's get ready to go with the stars in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Good work. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Perfect, okay, popping your tins down, whatever they may be. Uh, we're gonna move into our lunges now, so holding onto the chair if you need to, or doing it freestanding. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. So I've got my mirror right in front of me and it's very disconcerting. <laughs> we are halfway there. Good, five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest there. Whew, okay, it's a warm, warm day today. Take a deep breath in, breathe out. Okay, collecting your tins, we're going back to our stars. I'm gonna do them standing. Remember, you can bend the knees. Three, two, one, off we go. Ten seconds down. Halfway there. Good, keep it up. Ten seconds to go. Ooh, it's quite a difficult one, this one. Three, two, one, and rest there. Ooh, okay, fantastic. Popping the tins down, we're going to go straight back to our front lunges, whichever kind of support system you're needing. I'm just going to see if I can move that, get a bit of light actually. Is that any better? Yeah, that is a, a lot better actually. As long as I don't stand here. <laughs> okay, right, hands on the front of your hips. Three, two, one, off we go. Remember we're trying to drop down. As you can see my knee is staying in line with my hip. Good. We are halfway there. 10 seconds to go. And rest there. Whew, okay, good. We are one circuit down. Starting to sweat a little bit. Let's take a deep breath in. And we are gonna to move to our second circuit. Now we've got a nice simple yet effective one for the next one um, with a couple of my favorite exercise, uh, exercises as always. So, for, and both of them will need tins. So first exercise is our tricep extension. So holding one tin behind your head, pushing up to the ceiling and back down again. That's number one. What we're gonna superset that with is Rolling the tins down towards our feet and back up again. Rolling it down and back up again. If you're doing them in standing, both the exercises are as follows. So, tin behind the head, pulling up, exactly the same. This one, now we have to keep the legs straight for this one and push the bum back. So push the bum back, roll the tins down the thighs, get to just past the knees if you can and come back up again down and back up again okay so there are two exercises let's get ready for the first one i'll do the first set sitting and the second set in standing so three two one off we go good 
Good. Ten seconds down. Halfway there. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Perfect. Okay, grabbing the other tin on the front of your thighs. Remember, if you're doing it standing, keep the legs straight for me and stick the bum backwards. Five, four, three, two, one, off we go. It's crazy to think that we did these workouts every day for 84 days. <laughs> Just had a little bit of a, an epiphany moment. <laughs> Halfway there. Good, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, popping one tin down, I'm gonna do the next lot uh, standing, but I said feel free to use which version uh, works best for you. Oh, make sure that my screen doesn't die. Okay, tin above your head. Five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Squeezing all the way up. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. Good, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Perfect. Picking up your other tin. We're going to go through for the final, uh, final set of the fight of the second circuit. Sorry, we are flying through it. So hands on the front of your thighs. Remember, stick your bum back, keep your legs nice and straight, and up we come again. Three, two, one, off we go. You should feel tension in the back of the legs, ideally. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. Good, 10 seconds to go. Good, three, two, one, and rest there, perfect. Whew, okay, we are two out of the three circuits, tick, tick. Um, we are going through to the final circuit now, which obviously has our cardio in it. Would it be a quarantine workout without that? Probably not. Um, we are going to do, obviously, 40 seconds of cardio. Um, and we're going to start by doing, um, again, an all-time favourite of mine, the sidestep and the squat. So we're going to do some sidestep and squat. And then we're going to punch forward, marching with the tins for 40 seconds to really get the heart rate up. And we're going to go through that twice. And then we have our much-deserved cool-down. We are coming up to uh, 17 minutes of working out, so I think everyone's doing a good job. So let's, uh, let, well, let me just quickly show you what I mean by these exercises. So the first one is our side step and squat. So take big stride to the side, squat down, big stride, stride sorry, squat down. Remembering keeping your feet wide enough um, when you're doing the squat. I don't want you to take a step, bring your legs too close and end up doing something like this. Make sure that your legs are always wider than hip distance. Um, if you need a bit of support, I kind of have two options with the chair. Either you can still do the side step and squat, or you can do just partial squatting minus the side step. Um, so they're, they're the options for the first exercise. The second exercise is a classic of punching and marching. Now my granddad has stepped it up into a bit of a jog. So if you want to jog and punch, please do. In sitting, obviously exactly the same, bumping the legs whilst punching forwards. So let's get ready with our first exercise. We do not need any tins for this one. And we're going to go in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Remember, stick the bum backwards, try not to come forward over the knees. 
halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Good. Three, two, one, and rest there. Oh, my laptop has gone to sleep. Um, okay, picking up your tins, we now have 40 seconds of the cardio. Um, I would say pace yourself, but you guys know what you're doing by now, so um, as you wish. We're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. And if you wanna add a little bit of a jog to it, please feel free. If not, marching and punching, or doing it sitting is just as good. At the end of the day, as long as it's challenging for you, it doesn't matter whether it's challenging you by doing it marching or challenging you by doing it running, all is good. Halfway there. Good, 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest there. Ooh, okay, take a deep breath in. We have completed the first circuit of our final circuit. Take a deep breath in. Obviously the next one is the one that if you want, you can take a pulse check, that doesn't have to be done now. We are going to go back to our side step and squat, whichever variation we like, and we are going to go in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, ten seconds down. Ten seconds to go. Good. Three, two, one, and rest there. Whew. Okay, the end is in sight. We're coming up to 20 and a half minutes. Picking up your tins, we're going to do 40 seconds of cardio and then our much deserved cool down. So we're going to go when the time gets to a nice number in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Ten seconds down. Good, halfway there. Ten seconds to go. Oh wait, that's not right, that's half the task, halfway. <laughs> Sorry. Nearly had a 30 second one there. And now we are 10 seconds to go. Good, keep it up, keep it up. Working hard for the final three, two, one, and rest there. Whew, tins down, take a nice deep breath in. And breathing out. Well done everybody, we have made it to the end of the three circuits for workout 86. Um, I hope everyone's still enjoying the kind of transition to doing them weekly. Um, as I said, it looks like people are still doing them just as much, so that is really great to hear. Um, we are now going to go into our cool down, so please grab a bit of space. We're going to start by doing some nice shoulder stretching, so linking your hands together, pull the arms forward, imagine you're pulling them out of your socket, kind of rounding through the upper back, you should feel a nice stretch around the back of the shoulders. Good. From here, just linking the hands behind you and the opposite way, pushing the chest forward, squeezing the shoulder blades together, kind of pulling through your hands. Fantastic. Okay, what we're going to do now is just our little breathe up and breathe down and again breathing up and breathing down okay from here i want you to reach one arm up to the ceiling leaning over Do 
back down and the other side. And back to center. Both hands on one hip, pulling yourself round. And the same with the other side, pulling yourself round. And relax there, shaking off the arms. Last little bit. Ooh, seems to be a little bit of a sun trap again. Oh my goodness. Ear to shoulder, giving yourself a pull. Rotating in. She would like to feel the stretch a little bit further back. And the same on the other side, so ear to shoulder, give it a pull, rotating in if you would like. and rest there well then everybody we have made it to the end of workout 86 i've got to stop using days because they're not really representative of what's happening on you anymore um workout 86 as i said at the start thank you so much everyone getting in touch please continue to email me i promise i read every single one of them um if you have any physio queries drop me an email um and yeah i hope you enjoyed the workout today give me some feedback maybe leave a comment um it'd be lovely to know what you thought of it anyway have a great week and i will see you next wednesday for day for workout 87 bye bye everyone